Drake CMS Tutorial 1 Stage Shoot 2 Initial Install and Setup Once you have completing transferring the files to your hosting service, open your browser and turn the URL where you have uploaded the Drake CMS files and directories to. Don't forget the directory if you did not choose to upload to the root directory. This will begin the setup process on your website. The initial window will be the GNU General Public License. Please take the time to read and understand any obligations you are subscribing to. When ready, scroll to the bottom and select, click here to continue. This will move to the next stage where your basic PHP config and file directory write status will be checked and displayed. Any directories that are not shown that are shown as not writable must have their permissions reset to a level that will allow the status to be writable. Once any write changes have made, scroll to the bottom and then click here to continue. The next window will show you the initial setup for your website. In this window you will be able to select the management system that your website will be based on. For the purposes of this tutorial I have chosen Gladius DB. If, if you select the drop down box you will be able to see the DBS systems that are available on your website. Those marked in green are operational, those that are in red are not installed, those that are in grey may need additional add-on files to be installed. Once you are satisfied with your database management setup, there is one final very important thing to do in this window, and that is to set your admin username and password. You may leave the username as admin or type in a name of your choice, but the password must be changed to something that you are able to be easily remembered after the setup. Failure to do so at this time may mean that you will be not able to log in to the admin backend. Once you have reset the password, click at the base to continue. The install process will then create the various database tables and configuration files required from your website. The final window displays the status of all the processes, whether successful or otherwise. At this point you will have a choice of going to the front page or the admin back end. For the purposes of this tutorial I will be going to the front page. And that's where we've arrived at now. This is the end of stage 2.